The International Day of Solidarity with Palestinian People is commemorated worldwide, with officials expressing their support for the Palestinian cause and denouncing the Israeli conduct in the occupied lands. Hanan Nishrao, the Palestine Liberation Organization PLO Executive Committee member, urged the international community on Tuesday to help establish an independent state of Palestine along the pre-1967 boundaries with East Jerusalem Al-Quds as its capital. On November 29, 70 years ago, the United Nations General Assembly adopted Resolution 181-2. With the partition of historic Palestine, the victimization and suffering of the Palestinian people began. She said, Israel was created at the expense of the indigenous people of the land who were violently uprooted. In 1977, the UN General Assembly called for the annual observance of November 29 as the International Day of Solidarity with the Palestinian people. The world body highlighted the fact that the question of Palestine remains unresolved and that the Palestinian people have yet to attain their inalienable right to self-determination without external interference, the right to national independence and sovereignty, and the right to return to their homes and property from which they have been displaced. Ashrawi further said that the international community should hold the Israeli regime accountable for its belligerent occupation and for the grave injustices committed against the Palestinian people. Hana Ashrawi, a member of the Palestine Liberation Organization PLO Executive Committee, Israel's denial of Palestinian independence and freedom will further increase its isolation and delegitimization and cause irreparable damage to the security and stability of the region and beyond, she noted. Russia, Bangladesh, Pakistan back Palestine separately, the Palestinian WAFA news agency reported that Russian President Vladimir Putin had sent a message to his Palestinian counterpart, Mahmoud Abbas, to mark the Solidarity Day. Russia, which is a permanent member of the United Nations Security Council and is among the Middle East Quartet, emphasizes the principal stance on its support for the Palestinians' right to seal their own fate. The message read, Moreover, the Bangladeshi foreign ministry condemned the Israeli attacks and human rights violations against the Palestinian people as well as the regime settlement construction activities in the occupied territories. It further reaffirmed its commitment to Palestinians' right to self-determination, national independence and return to their homes. Additionally, Pakistani media reported that different events have been organized across the Asian country to commemorate the Palestinian Solidarity Day. UN urges conflict resolution Meanwhile, UN Secretary General Antonio Guterres issued a message in support of bringing an end to the decadist-long Israel-Palestinian conflict. He reiterated his readiness to engage in a process that will realize a two-state solution, and half a century of occupation and resolve all final status issues, adding, now is the time to end the conflict. By establishing an independent Palestinian state, living side by side in peace and security with the State of Israel, Israel occupied the West Bank and East Jerusalem Al-Quds during the Six-Day War in 1967. It later annexed East Jerusalem Al-Quds in a move not recognized by the international community. Palestinian officials say they want the resolution of the conflict with Tel Aviv based on the so-called Twa State solution along pre-1967 boundaries.